Uh, sir, maybe you didn't know, but we have white privilege. Get your hands where I can see them! I think the problem is you're just uneducated. Hey guys, we just watched Beavis and Butthead do the universe. That's right, everybody. The return of the great Cornholio. Does he finally get enough TP for his bunghole? Do one of these guys finally score? Stick around, because we're about to find out. All right, Billy, Beavis and Butthead are back. Yeah, man, old Beaver and Buttface. Yeah, but we didn't get see much of that guy in this one, the coach, man. No, he didn't, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Cool. Is he, was he even in this? I think I he think had, so. like, a slight little cameo at one point, like, briefly, very mm. briefly, just like kind of the, the hippie teacher did briefly, and, you know, a couple of, uh, the principal did briefly. I think we saw a couple of brief cameos from the old old crew, but uh, really not much, man, just beef and butthead. Now, I think the last time we saw this, the, the main show was on until 97, and then it came back for, like, a hot <laughs> second in 2011, but... And we had Beavis and Butthead to America. What do you know about Beavis? Yeah, that was 97, oh, dude, so I think. Beavis and Butthead came out when I was in middle school, man. I freaking watched the hell out of those guys. first thing I do when I get home from school is turn on some MTV, turn on the Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> oh, hello. Now, the classic Beavis and Butthead have music, music videos. videos that they're making yeah. fun of. Back when it was MTV was really MTV, right? That's you know, true. Music, yeah. television. I'm surprised they don't have that yeah. now because yeah, I mean, music videos like on YouTube are super popular. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Could use some Beavis and Butthead with that. Maybe <laughs> copyright <laughs> issues. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. But uh, yeah, that was back when MTV was actually MTV. You know, you young kids don't know nothing and, about and that. And Beavis now. and Butthead were kind of like the, at least to me, like the original, like mature cartoon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had Be- well, Beavis and Butthead, and then we had like Ren and Snippy, too, which is kind of more you know, yeah, mature probably cartoon. Probably not as much as this, but yeah. Yeah, it was pretty close. Yeah, but not as much, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, these these are like the original, uh, like I said, mature cartoons where adults were kind of like, oh, Mature, man, inappropriate. Kids yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. People and are in like, other oh, words, people's in my head, poisoning words, people's minds. Perfect for middle schoolers. We love it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, I, I love Beast Butthead, man. That show was freaking out. Awesome. Boys are whacking it in my trailer. When, of course, that spun off, you know, that right there character spun off old Hank in the King of the Hill. You know, and then, uh, which is another awesome show by Mike Judge. I mean, that dude, that dude know how to do it, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, boys. Please. Shut up, we're busy. Let me ask you something. How would you guys like to do that, but do it for real? Whoa. Yeah, so it's good kind of seeing a return of these guys, but oh, yeah, I was man. wondering if this is going to be, like, acceptable in today's world. Oh, dude, it was classy. But, I mean, Rick and Morty are pretty extreme, so. Dude, that's the thing. Rick and Morty are way more extreme than Beavis and Butthead are. Yeah. You know, Beavis and Butthead are mild compared to Rick and Morty nowadays. So, yeah, I mean, dude, this, this freaking show, I mean, we, we just rewatched a couple recaps of it. It's hilarious. Freaking hilarious, man. Yeah. Just, you know, so, such nostalgic value in watching this movie. Was just, and, you know, just great seeing Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, and it's educational because I learned from this that no man can see his own bungle. <laughs> so, right. yeah. It's true. <laughs> the great right. Cornholio told me that. He did, man. The great Cornholio, and the great Cornholio was actually uh, beneficial at getting a whole prison full of prisoners their new toilet. <laughs> you will not disrespect my bunghole. Yeah, they're disrespecting us. They're disrespecting our bunghole. <laughs> we learned a lot about white privilege for this movie as well. Oh yeah, the white so. privilege scenes were hilarious. <laughs> awesome, dude. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. You know, you had uh, that was a good spin on this because they're like, you. That's because you have white privilege, and they're like, oh really? <laughs> uh, uh, we do. Huh? <laughs> She's like, yeah, you know, your dad. I'm sure he's powerful. And <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Do you know who my dad is? I'm sure he's very powerful and can have me fired, but I don't care. Cool. She's, <laughs> did you, you know, did, what you guys have is called white privilege. Whoa. And we have that? You sure do. I see. Whoa. Yeah, and then they oh just go God. out, like, messing things <laughs> up. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to, like, lead your lives a different way now? And he's like, you better believe yeah. we are. <laughs> Step aside, please. We have white privilege. So what do you think of those this plot? Those scenes are awesome, dude. The, the plot was stupid as heck. It's crap. But <laughs> uh, but Beavis and Bad plots are all stupid as crap, right? So, I mean. Yeah, if you're looking oh to make gosh. sense of this, then uh, good luck. Because yeah. it's kind of all over the place. This is your typical, just ridiculous plot. Freaking Beavis and Butthead. Just like Beavis and Butthead to America. You know, and what, what kind of was, it was it kind of sucks is they, they skipped the world, man. They went from Beavis and Butthead to America, straight to Beavis and Butthead to the universe, right? That's there wasn't right. no world. They didn't they have had to step to the up, world, man. man. They've been gone too long. <laughs> right. I guess so. But you know, you, you, you know, I'd like to see an abuse bed do the world, man. Maybe go to China and do some crazy shit or something, you know? 
And it's but kind when, of funny, too, because it starts off and they're in the past, I think 1998, and then yeah. they get teleported to 2022. Yeah, exactly. It all began one ordinary day, a day just like any other. <laughs> Ow! 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 Yeah, it's good from there. <laughs> I love when they see the oh sign, he's like, two, zero, I don't even know what the third <laughs> number is. It's like the same as the first and, one. And, and, but it's like, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Look at the number up top, 69. So, like... This is like almost like every sexual reference they can throw oh, yeah, at dude. you oh, yeah. on this. Oh yeah, and some of them are clever, some of them not so much. Yeah. But of course, in the whole movie, these dudes be as better just trying to do what they always try to do, they're trying to get laid, you know, trying to score. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's almost like yeah. Leisure Suit Larry. Almost, yeah, oh, so. yeah, yeah, exactly, man. And uh, you know they're doing their damnedest <laughs> trying, and they, uh, you know, no matter what situation they get themselves into, it's like, hey, if this is going to better benefit us and help us to score, then no problem, <laughs> we'll do it. Yeah, I like, too, how they're in the past, so when they come to the present, they're thrown with, like, new technology, like cell phones, oh, and yeah. Beavis is, like, talking <laughs> to Siri and stuff. <laughs> and he thinks he's talking to Serena. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's talking to this chick they're trying to score with, and he's, like, having these long conversations with her, and she's like, I don't understand what you're saying. He's like, yeah, yeah sometimes I don't understand me either. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. Yeah, you get me. <laughs> just just like, hilarious. Oh, I love, too, where, like, they're talking about, I don't know how they get it, but they're talking about scoring with Serena, and she's like, Only 256 men and 49 women. That's a little more than I was hoping, but, you know, that's okay. This is just oh, like, man. if you like Beavis and Butthead, I mean, this kind of hits on all oh, the right oh, notes, dude, I think. Cla- Yeah, absolutely classic. You know what? I'm, I'm going to have to watch it again just because, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I laughed enough the, uh, the first time around just because, you know, you just looked at it as kind of so mild compared to something about the day, man, but then rewatching the recaps of it, I was like, holy cow, man, I got to watch it again. It was just... It's so nostalgic, man. Just such such good Beavis and Butthead, uh, you know, shenanigans going on in this movie, man. Now, do you think if someone isn't familiar with Beavis and Butthead that they're going to enjoy this? Um, yeah, I think so, man. I think really? So. I, I, I think I people, think it's going to be tough. I, I think people with a sense of humor will. <laughs> <laughs> plenty, plenty of people will probably be offended by this movie, and if you're offended by it, you just need to lighten up and, and laugh, man. Just, just laugh because that's what it's all about. This movie is just all about laughs, man. You just gotta. Just enjoy the ride. Just kick back. Just laugh at these dudes because it's so ridiculous. You know what I mean? Just so ridiculous and so shit that would never happen ever. You know, and these two kids are so freaking stupid, yet, you know, it gets them in so much trouble, yet so much, so many damn uh, different adventures all at the same time. It's just, it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's good, good laughs. Good American humor. <laughs> 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 what did you think about like uh, alien beavis and butt and stuff? Oh, that was funny too, dude. <laughs> like, smart, they were smart. Me, smart, <laughs> smart beavis, beavis and smart butt. But, but they were aliens, yeah. Yeah, seven aliens. You know, they they, they throw in uh, the multiverse throw in, this, in this. They throw in the multiverse, man. Little <laughs> Spider Man multiverse in this. And, uh, and I like uh, when they're trying to get him to go through the portal and stuff, and then like they're like, oh, I guess anything could go through the portal. <laughs> We could have just oh, we could have just thrown a brick through. They're they're not that smart, but they're the smartest versions of Beavis and Butthead that are out there. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the real question is, did they finally score? And we'll leave that up for you to figure out when you watch it. But uh, holy cow, man! Yeah, you, you definitely want to go along with this ride. It's not even that long of a movie. You and know. it's awesome that this is available on Paramount Plus. Oh yeah, awesome. Yeah, you don't like, even have to pay for like, this. Like, which I, is didn't great. Realize, it's I didn't realize. It's a great treat. Yeah, no, I didn't realize it was coming out. You called me. You're like, dude, Beavis and Butthead on Paramount Plus, and I was like, what? Mm-hmm. I was like, yes. Yeah, I didn't even hear too much talk about this before. Yeah, no, nah, man, no. Nah. People are trying to people. You know what? People are trying. They're trying to cancel it. <laughs> cancel, <laughs> cancel it already. Yeah, the cancel culture trying to cancel Beavis and Butthead. All right, that's what's going on. Yeah. So what I do you rate not. this thing? Oh man, Beavis and Butthead. Dude, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a high seven, man. I'm gonna give it a high seven. High seven. Yeah, nostalgia mm-hmm. value, man. Just got some good laughs out of it. I mean, I mean, there's nothing important about this movie. I mean, it didn't break any, ba- you know, any any crazy barriers or anything. But it was a great nostalgic value. It's funny seeing Beavis Butthead at it again, man. And I will definitely watch this movie again. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. I really enjoyed this. A lot of nostalgia for me. It hit on the right notes. It's classic Beavis and Butthead. Oh. I mean, the the plot gets. A little like kind of like goofy, <laughs> like at some points, but it, it's not even about that. So oh, it's yeah, just no, like no. Beavis and Bud being funny with the sexual humor and everything else that you come to expect from them. And I can't wait to see. I hope there's more stuff like this out That's there. Right, so I'd like what? to see more of them. Yeah, because she said eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did not say eat ass. There's like so many call outs oh. for that kind oh, of stuff. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> it's just like amazing. Yeah, it's- She's like, I want you to think long and hard. No, like, don't worry, baby. We, we're thinking that. <laughs> we're thinking long and hard as you want us to think, honey. <laughs> oh my but yeah, God. it hits, hits on on all the right notes for me. So. Oh, it does, yeah. 
Hey, if you're a Beavis and Butthead fan, check this movie out. Even if you're not, you're new to Beavis and Butthead, hey, watch this. And then go back and watch the old ones and let us know what you thought about it compared to some of the old ones. If you're Beavis a prude, maybe it's not for you. I don't know. <laughs> so. right. But for us, it is definitely for us. We highly recommend Beavis and Butthead, so please go check us out. Let us know what you think, and click that like and subscribe, and we will check you guys in our next review. See you guys. I like how it says, I need a Ross voice. I'm like, well, it's a cartoon, so sure is how the hell can you really be in this? <laughs> Oh, they got all the nachos too, man. Yeah, so, oh yeah, the nachos were great. Oh, holy cow, man! Dude, they <laughs> love some nachos. They love some nachos, man. <laughs> Six to me is kind of bad. It's kind of bad. Six is take it or leave it. Seven's good, man. Now, six Hi, is seven. probably like you shouldn't watch it. Seven is like where you get into watchable territory. Uh, centipede, human centipede might be a one or something. Maybe a ten. <laughs> 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 but, but his mom says she died at seven. <laughs> or said he died at seven. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure he's very powerful. <laughs> <laughs>